Hey guys, it's River Dave. It's 2022 and we're doing another shop tour and I wanted to show you one of my favorite shops in Havasu, Barrett Custom Marine. Off to my left here, you're gonna see Mike and Candy Kramer's uh, beautiful Mystic Center console. It just came in for a service, which is <laughs> four outboards across the back. That's a little spendy. You'll also notice up in the corner there, the Teague Custom Marine. Uh, AJ and Bob Teague are practically family, I guess you'd say, and uh, this is Teague's Warranty Center in Lake Havasu, and they stock a ton of uh, TCM parts and all that. Off to the other side of the building here, you're gonna see that they work on literally everything. So obviously you got the quad 450s over there, the outboards, but all the way down to little Bonner jet boat, the regular customer here, Dominators, pontoons, and all the way up to Big Dan Ellis' H202, he's a uh, 42 cigarette. That's the one that we had out in Florida. Anyhow guys, let's go inside and uh, Take a, look, take a look what they're working on and give you just kind of a brief shot tour. All right guys, let's go inside and take a look. So inside here is, uh, watch your step there, Michael. Inside here is your basic showroom. They got some parts, you know, that people would regularly purchase. A whole line of swag going on here. All of, and then we got Havasu's favorite shop dog, Olive. Come here, baby. She's a sweetheart. She comes over to the house and plays, uh, plays with our puppy regularly. But if you want to get your hot sauce, your boat cleaners, your speed gloss, whatever, they stock all that right here. Engine oils, filters, you name it. We've got uh, some new stuff I haven't seen yet. But it's a very, very clean operation, as you can tell. Uh, this, uh, this shop is kind of the home for Mercury Racing when they're out here. It's the home for Ilmore. Uh, MTI kind of uses this as a home base. It's one of the nicest facilities in Havasu, and AJ is a really top-rated mechanic. And uh, anyhow, we'll keep keep with the tour here. Look at this, they got new coolers in stock. AO coolers, bag coolers, all that. Personally, I prefer the ones that say River Day's place on them, but that's me. So, over here, you got the beautiful Sierra. She's one of the office girls. I'm not sure where Maureen went. She's not here right now. It's Chris, right? Your name? Chris. Yeah. And then you got Chris over here working on uh, some invoicing or something, I guess. And we'll keep going. Now, this is the part where most people aren't allowed to walk through, but in a shop tour, we're going to do it anyways, right? So back here, you know, everybody's been slammed since COVID and with Memorial Day coming up in just a few days here, this, this place is very, very busy. But Inside, big fountain. Oh my God, everybody, it's River Day! Oh my God, River Day! That's AJ, he likes to do that for some reason. So AJ, how you doing? Not bad. Good to see okay. you. So let's talk about AJ for a minute before we uh, get to the rest of the rest of the shop tour. Oh boy. So where'd you get your start in the marine industry? Started working at a production boat shop called Boatland in Escondido. Mm -hmm. Moved on to DCB to learn performance, then moved on to offshore racing with a Team CRC as crew chief, running a MTI and Supercat Light, and then on to um, Supercat class, and ended up moving out to Havasu, um, working for Savage, being a partner in Savage, and then stepping off and starting Barrett Custom Marine. So Barrett Custom Marine actually uh, started at another famous shop. Remember that? You're over at Burns? Yep. Worked out of the back of uh, West Coast Drives to start off and gave me a little space to do my thing and ended up taking over his shop and grew and then moved into this shop, which we're currently at. Yep. So how long have you been here? Uh, we've been here 10 years now and we're in the other shop for about two. Yeah. 
So tell us a little bit about, so obviously when you're a, a, a tech, you got to go through all these different schools and whatnot. It seems like for the past five years, you're always gone to some Merck school of some sort. There's always classes that are changing. Was it um, everything going digital has changed the way everything's done. Obviously with the BS last couple years, they've had to change where more stuff is online now. Um, but there's always, the best thing is hands-on. he's referring to COVID in case you're <laughs> <laughs> so. um, But the uh, best thing to learn is the hands-on and you know figuring it out as you know problems arise. Is there any certifications you don't have? The only thing I don't have from Mercury is uh, master certified. But you've got every single cert other than that, right? You got the outboard one, the outboard Mercury racing it, one. Yeah, you Mercury got racing with the stern drive, with it uh, inboard. Um, same with uh, Ilmore stern drive and um, high performance. We've done, at the time, I was the only one that's actually done all of Ilmore schools. Mm -hmm. So I know they've come out with a lot more classes ever since then. Yeah, Elmar's actually getting back in the game. I don't know if, you know, they released that new drive and they're currently mating it to the 570, but uh, my little birdie birdies told me they're coming out with six new engines between the 570 and 800-ish horsepower range. Yes, the 570's been out for a while. I've been trying to do projects with it, just nobody's really had an interest in it because Elmar wasn't really pushing the product or standing behind it. So now that they've began an interest in getting back into performance, we uh, started putting this project together and we're actually currently doing a Magic Dex boat. Really? Yep. So Mark uh, Mark Baker over at Eliminator, he had the first one that was kind of publicly released. So you're working on a, a deck boat now. When's that going to be around? We're actually working with Ilmore to actually make the conversion uh, plug and play instead of making a complete re-rig. So that's nice. kind of been, a, you know, slowed things down a little bit. It's a little, 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 one of the many little top secret programs that goes on around here. So <laughs> I'm outside, I mentioned this is kind of the home of Merck Racing. When Merck Racing comes to town and they have confidential projects or anything like that, you know, the doors go down and they're in here uh, working side by side with AJ to develop products that we all get to use. And uh, we work with all the companies who try and be Switzerland, you know, not <laughs> have any favoritism. Um, you know, obviously relationships with uh, Mercury Racing, Ilmore and T Custom Marine you know stem back from being in the industry for over 20 years yeah and uh and trying to work things out to you know have a better product that works so one of the things i was talking about outside you know there's some shops that specialize in just little jet boats or some shops that you know outboards only per se you know mm -hmm. but they you guys do everything here you know you got a bonner outside you got blower motor sitting <laughs> right next to an efi motor they literally do everything here and it's it's a it's a pretty cool deal that uh that all the customers get treated the same, right? You bring in a, yeah. a big MTI and you bring in a jet boat and you're gonna get taken care of the same way either way with white glove service and yep. and all that, so. Treat everybody the same, but it, uh, everybody pays the bill. I mean, we just, biggest thing is we wanna do things our way um, so that the customer enjoys it and all we do is end up changing oils after we get the boat strained out. Yeah, you exactly. Know, new boats, you know, we've seen certain things, so we like customers to follow certain programs and you know, we have customers coming from across the country that use us while the boats are on the West Coast. And then mm -hmm. we have some boats that, you know, come and go depending on the season. Absolutely. And that is a big thing. So he actually does service boats out of Florida and all kinds of weird stuff, you know, <laughs> they come all the way over here to do it. You yeah, know? we had uh, six boats that ran Miami to Key West, uh, no issues. Just a bunch of little stupid stuff. Um, so well, we got one of them right outside, Dan's boat. That's the one we took Miami to Key West. Yep, was it uh, Dan's was down there, we had Austin Carver, um, Tyler Stone, uh, Brian that we ran with, uh, Hutchins. Yep. Um, you, know, you got the loner boat, Brian Hutchins' loner yep. boat. Yep, ran the loner boat with uh, Paul Tracy on the way down there, um, mm -hmm. had a good time. So it's just different waterways, a little bit different, and so it's nice to mix it up. That's so. beautiful. If you haven't been to Florida yet, you're missing out. Yep. So take us around, show us what you're doing. So What's, what's, the, uh, what's the Doug Wright in here for? Doug Wright is never have enough horsepower, so. Are you flashing it? Nope. Don't do that. Was it a. You don't do that? No. Was it a Liar. big no no with Mercury? Liar. So, <clears throat> pulling a pair of uh, brand new 300s, which I thought the boat ran awesome with. We did a photo shoot with Max Out Marine. Mm -hmm. um, customer that purchased it just had to have the 450s, so. Oh, nice. Here we go. Of course. You know. Of course. I mean, the boat's. Fun to drive, 80 to 100, it eats all the water, you know, 
tons of acceleration. We had full tanks of gas, four people. The boat ran 111, not even trying. Um, but you got to get the 450s, man. Well, All the cool kids are doing it. That's what they tell me. Yep. But, uh, you know, it just makes it that much more of a drag boat. And So we got a little silly. Talon right here. This yep. is actually a cool boat. Nobody have, nobody in Havasu really sees these things anymore. But the Talons, the 26 or 25 Talon is actually the, uh, it's kind of, it's, Almost every single West Coast cat is based off the 25 talent. Kind of like that one over there. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's a magic, an American offshore. It doesn't matter if it's a, conquest, you know, a Howard. conquest or a, even a Howard. Yep. They're all they're all basically based off a 25 talon bottom. Some of them so, have made some tweaks along the way. Right. But uh, this here is a 22 talon, right? Yeah, 21 or 22. Yeah. So this is pretty cool. Big jack blade on it, outboard. What's it in here for? Uh, we're hanging a 300 on it, went from being two stroke to uh, four stroke and just doing the small conversions on it, upgrading it. But it was pretty basic, so some of the rigging's been upgraded on it. Had a uh, tank it in town, was it due an aluminum okay. tank? Yep. So you'll have plenty of fuel capacity and with a sump in it, so they don't have to worry about it running out of gas. Perfect. So. And what is this here? That's another boat in for service, just getting ready for the season. Doing, yeah, I think uh, the customer is going to be disappointed when you make the phone call because I saw them take the magnets off those drives and they were hairy. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's pros and cons with it, uh, you know, and that's where we always push, you know, oil is cheap, especially compared to, you know, the, the outcome if you underservice something. Yeah, well, that guy's buying a new set of gears at a minimum, probably a new drive. Yeah. If we can get them. Yeah, right. That's uh... Actually, there's a guy, David Smith Gears. Have you seen those? Somebody uh, posted on my website yesterday about He was that. posting about him and then they got taken down. So I'm, I'm guessing he might not be allowed to do that. I don't know. That's bullshit. You can make whatever you want as long as you're not in, infringing on patents or something. But I'd, Tell me about the uh, fountain here. The fountain's in for an annual service also, getting prepped for the season, doing oils and water pumps. What motors are those? Uh, a pair of Nachi Aspirated carburetor motors. Pretty fast? You know, Don't do know. No, nope, never been in it, never ran yeah. it. So anyhow, guys, to show you a little bit more, if you look up there, they obviously keep a, sh well, almost said the S word there, a, <laughs> a cubic lot ton of oils and parts and all this stuff. Snap-on toolboxes all the way across. And Michael will show you on the B-roll. Lots of cool projects going down here, repowers, re-rigs. Uh, but the bread and butter or the peanut butter and jelly is just the normal annual right. services and repairs. Yep. So. And that's well, what we're trying to keep customers at. Exactly. Well, yeah, once you fix the boat, then you, right. you maintain it. You don't have problems, right? Exactly. Unless you're like me and you go by the outboard, then you don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> right? Anyhow, guys, we'll take you upstairs and show you the parts department and uh, do some B-roll and show you around. Thanks so much for your time, AJ. Right. No problem. By the way, guys, before I let him go, did you know that I'm the priest that married him? <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. All right, guys, against my better judgment with my ankle, we're gonna actually go up the stairs and I'm gonna show you kind of a little, little part stock house here that uh, most customers don't get to see. So follow me. All right, guys, so we're upstairs and this is kind of the part stock warehouse, I guess you'd call it. And if you wonder how much stuff they stock, it is a ton. If you look at this, oil filters for days for every single type of application, belts for days, and on and on. I'll let Michael shoot all the B-roll, but they, uh, I, I bet you got a half a million dollars worth of parts in here, if not more. That's where literally you know, all brand new Bravo props. These right now, there's a prop shortage. It's hard to get. 24 right hand, 24 right hand, 26 right hand, 26 right hand. These are real common stock sizes. You know, 496 boats, 502 boats, stuff like that. Belts, all sorts of stuff. Props for days. I've actually come down here and rated the the props many times for prop testing with my Hallett, my Shiata and all that. But uh, very, very cool stuff. All right, guys, I mean, it's a pretty quick tour, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And make sure you check out Barrett Custom Marine and also uh, riverdaysplace.com.